Welcome to this Solid Edge podcast, bringing you quick and easy tips and tricks from the experts. It's quick and easy to design in Solid Edge with synchronous technology, but how do you offset and rotate a plane at the same time? Doug Stainbrook gave me this example. What I want to demonstrate for you here is how to create an offset plane and put it at an angle to create a feature at an angle through my part. So to start with, I'm just going to create a coincident plane on this face, and I'm just going to drag it off of the part. You can see that the steering wheel is oriented such that if I click the torso of the steering wheel, that it's going to rotate that plane left to right. And instead, I really want to rotate that front to back. So what I can do then is click on the small orange ball at the end of the uh, secondary axis, and you can see that that steering wheel then will pivot about the primary axis. As I get to a 90 degree increment, it will snap into position. At that point, I can click, click the torso of the steering wheel, and now I'm rotating front to back like I wanted to. And I could key in a value such as 80 degrees. I then can move that plane along that vector if I want. And I'm going to use that plane then to create a feature that's going to cut through my part at an angle. So I'm just going to use the sketch command. I'm going to lock to that plane. And I'm also going to use the sketch view so I can look right down that plane at my model and position my geometry. So here I'm just going to use a couple of uh, features to build a cutout through my part. So I'm just going to use these regions. I'm going to drag it into the part. You see here it's creating a protrusion. I actually want to create a cut and cut through my part at that angle. So you can see I created that 80 degree cut straight through my part. Thanks for showing us how to offset and rotate a plane at the same time, Doug. If you want to find out more, visit us at Siemens.com forward slash Solid Edge or call your local Solid Edge channel partner.